In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in worthy manner. With a contrite heart, let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. I offer this Mass for the deceased members of Milagris Barreto and family. Let us also put forth our intentions before the Lord. Let us pray for the people who are celebrating their birthdays, their wedding anniversaries. Let us also pray those who are suffering, sick, those who are lonely, especially for the peace in the world. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in Saint Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. In those days, when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the royal family. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the king's sons who were being put to death, and she put him in his nurse in a bedroom. Thus they hid him from Athaliah, so that he was not put to death, and he remained with her for six years, hidden in the house of the Lord, while Athaliah reigned over the land. But in the seventh year, Jehoda sent and brought the captains of the Caritas and of the guards and had them come to him in the house of the Lord. And he made a covenant with them, and put them under the oath in the house of the Lord, and he showed them the king's son. The captains did according to all that Jehoiada the priest commanded. And they each brought his men who were to go off duty on the Sabbath, with those who were to come on duty on the Sabbath, and came to Jehoiada the priest. And the priest gave to the captains the spears and shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of the Lord. And the guards stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, from the south side of the house to the north side of the house, round the altar and the house on behalf of the king. Then he brought out the king's son, and put the crown on him, and gave him the testimony. 
And they proclaimed him king and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, Long live the king. When Atalia heard the noise of the guards and of the people, she went into the house of the Lord to the people. And when she looked, there was the king standing by the pillar according to the custom and the captains and the trumpeters beside the king and all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets. And Atalia tore her clothes and cried, Treason, treason. Then Joada the priest commanded the captains who were set over the army, bring her out between the ranks and put to death with a sword anyone who follows her. For the priest said, Let her not be put to death in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her. And she went through the horse's entrance to the king's house, and there she was put to death. And Joada made a covenant between the Lord and the king and people, that they should be the Lord's people, and also between the king and the people. Then all the people of the land went to the house of Baal and tore it down. His altars and his images they broke in pieces, and they killed Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altar. And the priest posted watchmen over the house of the Lord. So all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet after Atalia had been put to death with the sword of the king's house. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response? The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord has chosen Zion. He, he has desired it for his dwelling. If your sons hold fast to my covenant, and my laws that I have taught them, their sons in turn shall sit on your throne from age to age. Response, the, the Lord, Lord has chosen Zion. Zion. He, has he has desired, desired it for his dwelling. For the, Lord, for the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place from age to age. Here I have chosen to dwell. Response, the Lord, the Lord has chosen, chosen Zion. Zion. He has, he has desired Zion it for his dwelling. I will make a stalk sprout up for David. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Respond. The, the Lord, Lord has chosen, chosen Zion. Zion. He, has he has desired it for his dwelling. Acclamation, finally rise. Spoken to his people, Alleluia, Alleluia. And his words are words of wisdom, Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. God has spoken to his people, Alleluia, Alleluia. And his words are words of wisdom, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your with spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to you o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. 
But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the simple truths of life can be so simple that gradually we do not take notice of it anymore. It can be as simple as having a balanced diet, regular resting time, regular exercise and general well-being. We know all these, th all these are not just good life practices, but they are actually the truths of life. And going beyond that, we also know that life on earth is temporary and all things will pass, including ourselves. As much as we know all that, we get distracted by the glitter of life and we begin to chase the wind. In the first reading, we hear of Atalia, who sees his power by, by wicked means and even resorted to murdering those who stand in her way. She had her eyes only on the worldly power. Somehow, she did not see the truth of retribution or did not want to think of it. So in the end, she had to reap what she sowed and paid for it with her own life. In the Gospel, Jesus reminds us or tells us to store up treasure for ourselves in heaven. He also tells us to look at the truth and to understand what life is all about. When we keep our focus on the truth of life and the truth will set us free and the truth will also make us happy in this life as well as in the life to come or the life when the next life. So as we take part in this Eucharist today, let us pray for the same grace that Lord help us to understand your truth and help us to store our treasures not on this earth but in the life to come. Let us pray for the same grace in this Eucharist today. For the offertory, let us take hymn number B30 on page 75. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of Saint Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by, by your, your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph Vaz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Kindly stand. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of Saint Aloysius, whom we honor today. May we preserve in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Number L20 on page 256. And he 
said I'd never leave you. Put your trust in me.